I'm Kendra Kincaid and we're behind the scenes at the Canadian Border Service Agency at the Edmonton International Airport. Ever wonder what goes on here? Stick around, we're going to show you. Canada Customs in Edmonton processes up to 4,500 international travellers daily. It's a 24-7 operation that screens passengers arriving from other countries. Hello, Hi. bonjour. Hello. Passport Customs card. There's economic threats, there's terrorism, there's many other different things that come about. So we want to make sure that our border is secure. There's a lot of illegal immigration, there's people smuggling, there's narcotics coming in through the customs flow. So we want to make sure the goods and the people coming into Canada are secure and they're allowed to be here. I see it's $700, so you're under exemption. Did you purchase any alcohol, tobacco? After checking passports, customs officers often identify a need to examine baggage. Here's your bag, and you can determine by the color of what's going on here. Your blue is metal, your greener is organic, and that's other materials here. These are items that have been seized by Canada Border Services. These are prohibited weapons, as you can tell from the sign here. Different items from brass knuckles to this is a spring-loaded knife. You got a switchblade here. Different types of uh, swords here. We do have other items such as firearms, which are bringing a restricted firearm into Canada is illegal. So this is an ion scan, which it also does testing for different types of drugs. It gives you a positive or a negative hit. And then there's Max the Edmonton International Airport's bag sniffing expert. I work with Max, who's a detector dog, and we look for agricultural products that are not allowed to come into Canada. Meat, plants, animals. He's found a lot over a six year career already. I have Max on leash, and he goes through and he sniffs every passenger's bag. The bags are coming off the carousel. He leads me on a merry chase through all the passengers, and I guide him to make sure that he checks every bag. And when he finds something that's not allowed to come into Canada or a trained order, he'll sit to let me know that this is something I need to look into further. Max is one of a kind at the EIA, trained to sniff out food and agricultural products. And if you don't declare something that's not allowed, you're looking at a penalty of up to $1,300. But so an example is coming from China, we get a lot of meat products and it can carry avian influenza and poultry products, foot and mouth disease and beef products. And people just don't understand the risk involved with bringing in something like that. Because not only are you transplanting the plant, you're transplanting every bug that likes to eat that one and every soil pest associated with that. All confiscated items are disposed of. Just part of a typical day at Canada Customs. You're good to go. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day. We're here all day, every day to make sure our border's safe. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Kendra Kincaid.